almost all enterprises globally are going through digital transformation, though in different stages and forms. In such a scenario, uh, it becomes imperative for global technology vendors to decide which route to take and where to play, uh, or in other words, uh, devise a pointed strategy to go to the market. We at Markets and Markets are helping our technology clients achieve their revenue growth aspirations by identifying new market segments, new technologies, uh, emerging use cases of these niche technologies, right to win against competition, partner identification, and host of other market intelligence pieces with regards to digital uh, transformation space. But the story doesn't end here. Once our technology companies have answers for where to play and how to win choices, they have to tackle the real situation in front of their customers who require digital transformation, where identifying the stage at which the customer is in their digital transformation journey and the gaps that need to be filled by technology vendor uh, become most critical questions to answer before proposing them uh, a, a soundproof, robust digital transformation solution. Today's session will answer such critical aspects of sales journey of digital transformation solution. I'm Shikib Naim, working as Vice President ICT Advisory at Markets and Markets, and it's our privilege uh, to have Mr. CJ Shah, who is Chief Sales Officer at AllSec Technologies, which is a quiz uh, company offering digital transformation solutions. Mr. Shah will share valuable insights related to digital transformation journey of end customers. Welcome, Mr. Shah. I would request you to tell us more about yourself and your organization. Thank you so much, Sakeb. In fact, I think this is what is setting the tone in a right manner. You really set the table, and this definitely is the one very interesting, very dear to my heart uh, topic. Now, let me give you a little of background of AllSAC and also my role. So AllSAC is part of Quest Corporation, and we are a publicly listed company. Uh, Quest is uh, uh, having a market cap of $2 billion. Uh, while uh, we are funded financially backed by Fairfax Holding. Fairfax is a conglomerate in Canada. And there are a lot of parallels <coughs> which are drawn between Fairfax and Berkshire. Uh, the way that we are able to create the float, the way we are able to create the shareholder value. Uh, so Fairfax is the financial engine. And AllSec is a digital business services arm of Quest. Now, a little bit about my role. So I, as a chief sales officer, I operate as a player coach. I am uh, now working with our direct sales team, indirect sales team for the North American region. Uh, the interesting part, I would say, uh, as far as my role is concerned, it's the one where we are uh, looking at how we can help large enterprise to embrace the digital digitalization, correct? That is the one which is what is helping them reshape uh, you know, what is that they are going to do in the future. So that I think is the one which is what is uh, you know, my key role here. Thank you so much, Mr. Shah. Uh, now allow me to ask you critical questions related to customers of digital solutions. Uh, answers to which will be very helpful to many sales leaders who are offering digital transformation solution to their end customers. So I'll begin with like, you know, uh, I would, I was very keen to understand from you in today's era where most of the organizations are in various stages of digital uh, adoption, early to advanced. How do we qualify a genuine requirement or a lead from a sales uh, person uh, language perspective for digital transformation? In other words, how do we identify whether an organization is looking for digital transformation in real terms. Uh, so what's the ideal way to uh, go about it? Well, uh, every organization goes through different stages in the journey to achieve digital dexterity, I would call. So at this juncture, most of the companies are at the experimentation or proof of value stage. Now, uh, digital transformation is uh, very challenging, you know, in terms of, you know, we need to justify capital outlay. We need to create those change management tracks. In fact, we need to also have uh, uh, a process through which you can challenge a uh, leadership team to see that you now they are able to come out of status quo. Uh, they are able to look at how they can build the offensive strategy, right? 
So uh, I would say the reason behind most of those companies, those who have gone through these large scale change efforts, only 30% have succeeded. Now, when we talk about the success rate, it is definitely, uh, no, any digital transformation should have a financial and operational efficiency uh, as the key indicators uh, with regards to the success of the uh, journey. Now, if we look at some of the business metrics like you no know, debt to equity ratio, net profit margin, return on equity, are the powerful tools to confirm the strength and success of DX initiative in any organizations. Hence, it is. I think it is clear. You know, from my perspective, uh, uh, now if the enterprise are having lack of usage of digital technology as a vital engine to drive revenue growth and boost the bottom line, uh, are the ideal candidates for the creation of digital runways? Yeah, true, true. Completely agree with you. And uh, so, like, like, let's touch upon some other aspects. So, how have roles and responsibilities of key decision makers change in the last few years or say a decade? Are they still working in silos or they have now started aligning to uh, organizational strategic imperatives? What is your thoughts on, on that or your experience on that? So I think first we'll have to admit digitalization has blurred lines between various different departments, whether it is IT, HR, finance, so it is imperative to have cross collaboration and more substantial alignment between different functions to achieve those no common goals. Now, what I see here is that in the coming years, a few central elements are definitely going to impact the roles of decision makers, whether it is revolving around digital savvy skills, innovative ideas, deal shaping expertise, or creating enduring relationship. I think they are the one going to help make sure that enterprises are able to deliver the right kind of throughput and also reduces the uh, value leakages. Yeah, yeah. And so, so what are the major pain points and challenges faced by key decision makers? Uh, you know, issues with legacy infrastructure, unwillingness to adopt changes, lack of budget, security issues, IT skill challenges. There are many things that can act as a hurdle uh, as per your experience, I mean, uh, so what do you think are the most critical, uh, I would say, challenges for you and for the customer to help them convince, uh, you know, and go for a given uh, digitalization solution? So I think we have to be cognizant of the fact that COVID has created an economic chasm. We yes. are still not out of the woods, considering that inflation is at all time high we are tethering at the edge of recession. So digitalization is definitely the knight in the shining armor for key decision makers, provided the implementation is satisfactory. Now, when it comes to implementation, deploying digital technology is very tricky. And I would say the efforts are more or less akin to changing a tire on a moving car. That, is, that I think is the, most difficult task, correct? Right? No, you have yeah. to have a very well-defined, precise uh, digital journey. And I would say that's the topic which is at the top of CXO's mind. So in essence, I think uh, you no. Know, what they would be looking at is, hey, do I have a business radar that can help proactively assess the landscape, confirm the milestone that can support the direction of the digital roadmap? Now, if all that is the approach they take, Enterprise can scan the business, evaluate the path, and then also look at how they can build digital highways to prepare for the future. Yeah, no, I completely agree with you. A well-defined uh, digital journey and a digital fr framework is very, very important for any large enterprise to go ahead uh, and you know deploy and implement uh, what was planned. So as per your experience, what are customers buying criteria for digital transformation solutions and services? Easy customization and seamless integration or use of emerging technologies or adopting emerging technologies like AI or is it cost uh, reduction, which is the biggest driver for them? Is it post-purchase support? Uh, what is What does your experience say? So my understanding is that vendor should have a repository of digital assets 
that i think is the most important because nowadays if all of you are able to look at the opportunity of uh, you know the understanding the landscape of customer and finding out as to what is that would be the right assets that can be created that's something which is very important vendor should also have deal shaping ability it's now you have to be very innovative when i say deal shaping when you no know, customers are expecting that how you can come up with zero cost transformation what does it mean yeah. you really have to look at opportunity to create that cost efficiency track but also using that those tracks how you can fuel uh, implementation and investment for digital uh, technology so i think that's one which is what is very critical also you no know, you need to be having a, a right kind of mindset to co innovate to uh, join forces to see that you are able to you uh, know have that kind of collaboration with the client to make sure that you are uh, you know working uh, for uh, building those pipelines digital pipelines that can fuel the growth for the future absolutely very well said i i completely agree with you you know uh, co creation and co innovation is a very critical aspect especially in in such a scenario where the vendor has to fit into the client's shoes to uh, you know understand from their perspective where they want to go ahead and how digital play can can you know uh, can make the impact which they want so i think yeah i mean these are really very valuable insight thanks a lot uh, you know mr shah it's been a pleasure talking to you and know about your rich experience with customers we wish you all the best and thanks again for such an insightful session thank you